good afternoon and thank you for joining us for our final FREA conversation, our Wednesday Wisdom today. Edwina Williams, your president, and I will be walking you through some of the newest and greatest discounts and fun stuff as well as we go through here, talking about some of your perks of being a member of FREA. Just a couple of quick housekeeping details as we have a few people signing on here. All participants are in a listen-only mode. And so it's not like a typical Zoom where you see the Brady Bunch look. It's just Edwin and I. But if you do have questions, put them into Q&A. That Q&A will allow us to stop along the way and answer if necessary for something specific to you. We may just type your response to you or respond to you after the webinar out there that way as well. You will also notice the QR code down here in the bottom right-hand corner. We may talk about something today that you want to more, know more in detail, and I'll show you how to find that out with the QR code as well. We are recording this session. We will make this available out on the FREA website sometime in the next week or so. That way you can cover it and follow up with it. Also, too, we're going to talk about some things today that are going to ask for activation codes and websites and stuff like that. Don't worry about writing any of it down. I'm going to send everyone on this webinar today, I'm going to send you a tutorial on how to sign on to get these discounts, and I'm going to send you a tutorial about how to get the, the app on your phone as well. So we're going to make it super easy for you to take advantage of this kind of stuff, make it super easy for you to uh, save some money this holiday season and beyond. But before we get started, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize today being Pearl Harbor Day. We have, uh, it's been 81 years since the attack on Pearl Harbor, and I know in the state of Florida, we have many families that are, come, are military families or have military members in their family, and we greatly appreciate their service and want to thank you for, for your service to our students as well. And uh, so as we move forward here, Anne is not able to join us this morning. She had a meeting at the AARP office. I want Ed Winter to kind of just reinforce the mission of FREA to our folks that are on the call, because sometimes we get members and people who are new to FREA that aren't familiar with what FREA's goals are and what you're working on for the coming year. Well, our mission, of course, is to support all public education in Florida, provide fellowship opportunities, encourage community involvement, and be a source of information and materials. We have an outstanding legislative, legislative committee headed by George Ellis and um, Linda Edson, and they do an amazing job keeping us informed of all the changes in education, such as recently the two uh, different educational communities that are uh, being formed in the state legislature. One is gonna deal with K through 12 and the other with secondary education. So um, please join us and uh, be active in your local units. It's extremely important that we be a voice to speak up for public education and for our Florida retirement system. It is in the process of changing and we're here to protect our pensions as well as protect and serve public education. And thank you for all of your volunteer hours and your hard work. Great, and especially going into the legislative session coming up, pay attention to alerts and messages from Edwina and, and uh, the legislative committee to make sure that you know when there's an opportunity for those 10,000 plus FRA members to get involved and make your voice heard. And I hear we're coming uh, to your backyard for convention next year. Is that true, Edwina? Yes, uh, we're going to the Blue Greens uh, Spa and Golf Resort over in Panama City, Florida. We have a, a, a convention committee already meeting and planning wonderful events, as well as um, lining up our entertainment for us. And we're very excited about having it in Northwest Florida this year. Uh, we've traveled long uh, for many, many years all over the state, but um, it's nice to be able to host our wonderful organization in Northwest Florida. Great, looking forward to it. Looking forward to being down there with you and uh, be, pay attention to details coming out first the next year. Edwina, thank you for joining us. Again, if you've got questions for Edwina about legislative issues, things like that, drop them in that, uh, that Q&A feature, and we'll see if we can answer those for you or get you directed into the right place. And she mentioned local units. One of the challenges that we have with our FREA members is making sure they stay connected with their local community. And we've got units all over the state. would love to plug you in 
and get you involved and uh, you know stay close to some of those folks that you worked with in the past. So today, you know, as Edwina mentioned, the value of FREA goes beyond just the pension aspect of it. There's challenges to public education as a whole and having a strong voice in public education for those places that you used to work. Maybe you have sons or daughters that are active educators now in the public education space, making sure that there's someone that supports them. That's what FREA does. Watches out for your pension and your benefits that you earn to make sure that those things stay strong and that they stay viable. Your investment as an FREA member and membership is such a small amount to protect your biggest asset. That's that pension that you can't outlive. FREA does that, plus connects you with local members in your community, and then also comes together to offer sport, important benefits, discounts, fun stuff like that. And we're going to talk a little bit about that as we go forward. You have benefits by being an FREA member, and part of that is our relationship with AMBA. They help fill those gaps that are not covered whenever you left the, the district, meaning that you had benefits through the state or through your district. When you left, you weren't able to carry those forward. Some of those gaps we can plug with your, our relationship with AMBO. They're portable if you leave the state for whatever reason. And we see this, you know, everyone knows everybody goes south for the winter. Everybody comes to Florida. But we have a lot of FREA members that have moved close to their loved ones out of state as well. You can take these benefits with you anywhere that you go. And then we have some educators, some retired educators that say, hey, I still have adult children or parents that need benefits. By being an FREA member, you can extend your FREA benefits and access to those benefits to a loved one in your family as well. But today we're talking about all the discounts, all the fun stuff, ways to make your pension check stretch even further in this inflationary environment. We're talking travel savings all across the great state of Florida, the United States, all across the world. When I was down in, uh, in Orlando at your convention back last May, talking to the many members who are planning big trips all across the country, all across the world, getting on cruise ships and heading down to the Caribbean, this is a great way to take advantage of this free discount to you know, save you money, impress your family, you know, all that kind of stuff like that. And we're going to walk you through some of those steps today. We're going to introduce you to the My Amba Discounts Program. If you are not already signed up for the program, we're going to show you how to do that, get you involved really easily, help you save some money, show you how to take these discounts, how to save that money, show you how to take the most advantage of it. And then we're going to show you how to suggest some new shops and restaurants. You're going to find that many of the local discounts are around major metropolitan areas and tourist areas, not so much more in the rural parts of the state. But we're going to show you how to suggest those restaurants, those shops to get on the discount program and how you can save money and also drive business to those uh, those vendors in your area. But to help me start out here, to help me kind of find who's uh, who's on our webinar today and who what you're planning, tell us your holiday plans. I put out a multiple choice uh, uh, poll out there to tell us what you're doing. If you're shopping just for family and friends, if you're going to go visit some family, you can select all three, four, two of them, doesn't matter. You live in a warm vacation spot. I just held this same webinar up in Wisconsin about two hours ago. There was not a single person that said, I want to travel to a chilly vacation spot. They all wanted to come down and visit me in Texas or you over in Florida. So uh, we'll go ahead and get a couple more of you get a chance to answer out there. And, uh, and we'll uh, close this poll in three, two, one. All right. And let me share the results here. So we've got a lot of folks who want to do some shopping. I'm going to show you a dozen places to do some shopping. We got the rest of you visiting family. You're probably taking gifts. If you got any travel involved in that, I'm going to show you how to save some money there. And for those of you, like Edwina said, she's sweltering. She, her sweaters truly are sweaters. And you want to go to uh, maybe uh, see a little bit of snow, maybe up in the the uh, in Tennessee or North Carolina, or maybe go to Colorado or somewhere like that, or maybe to New York to see some Broadway shows. We're going to show you ways that you can save some money that way as well. So thank you for participating in our poll. Let's go ahead and move on forward and talk about this program called Passport. It's My Amba Discounts. It's powered by Passport. This is a free benefit for FREA members. There's nothing you have to pay. 
by being a member of FREA, you get this as part of your membership. So you're going to find ways to save enough money that you can more than pay for your FREA membership. It's dining, travel, shopping, things you use every day, things you may only use once in your lifetime. Um, there are things, everything from vitamins for your pets to purchasing cars and refinancing homes. It's all across the board, stuff that you can do and save money. This program was founded by Apple employees many years ago that said, hey, we just like some discounts because we're a big company. Well, they created this program. It got so big, they took it outside the company. And now it's available. It's available to all association members, like I mentioned, for FREA. And we now, as association members, have become retired educators, the third largest user of Passport. And that brings a lot of stroke with it. I'm going to show you how you can exercise that as we go through here as well. There are two ways that you can access the Passport program. And you don't need to write anything down. I'm going to send you this tutorial a couple of slides, as well as a link here in just a moment. You can access the MyAmba Discounts program through the website, myambadiscounts.com. You'll click register here. You'll enter your email address. You'll enter a code. You can do that. That's fine. I'm going to send you a tutorial. Don't worry about it. I'm going to send you this afternoon, here in a couple of hours, a email from myself. It'll be from Edwin and Ann that will tell you exactly, click this link, and how you get on the website. And here's what that email is going to look like. I'm going to send you an email. Check your email box this afternoon. And it's going to have a link in here that's going to take you to this very page. And it's going to say it's gotten even easier to sign up. It already knows that you're an FREA member. It already knows the activation code that you're coming from AMBA. All you have to do is put your email address in there, hit next. And you're going to fill out a brief profile. That profile helps customize your discounts to your interests. If you've got pets, if you've got um, like to travel, or if you've got grandkids, you know, whatever it is, it'll help you filter your discounts. It doesn't preclude you from getting any discounts, but um, it maybe helps them bubble up to the top more frequently. You can set your preferences if you want notifications, because I like to travel. I like to get travel emails. It'll tell me all the latest discounts on travel. So this is going to come to your email. It's a link for you to join instantly. There's nothing that you have to do except click the link, put your email in, and boom, you're in. You've already got it. Now, a lot of FREA members are on the road now, and they use that smartphone for everything. I see Edwina using that smartphone for everything. You can download the Passport mobile application on your phone whether you have a Google device, an Android phone, uh, uh, um, or an iPhone, you can download it. It's the Passport mobile application. You can look for the little orange skyline on there, and you know that you've got it that way. I'm going to walk you through the process to sign in. I don't want you to do that now because I don't want you to get ahead of yourself, go down a pay path or anything like that. I'm going to send you a tutorial that reinforces what I showed you here. What I love about the Passport app, and especially for those of you that said you're going to be doing some traveling to go see family, whether you're driving, you know, just 30, 45 minutes, or whether you're driving where you have to stop along the way, it is geolocated on your app, which means that whenever I fly down to Florida to go see Mickey and his family, the minute I land, if I'm hungry, I press my app and it will tell me, hey, you're in Orlando. Within a five mile radius, here are restaurants that are available for you to eat, or here's a hotel where you can stay at for less money. So it's really a neat feature in there, and I'll show you how that works in just a moment, but the app is really good for on the go, especially for you travelers out there as well. Okay, so here's what happens when you come to and you download the app and you're ready to register, okay? And for those of you who don't want to use an app, which is totally fine, I'm going to show you the website live here in a moment, how to use that. So you don't have to use an app. We've got some members that say, I don't want to mess with those, whatever, for whatever reason, that's fine. But we've got a lot of members that are using the apps, and this is a great way to, to save money on the road, so to speak. So when you come to the app store, you download the Passport app, you're going to come to this screen. The first screen is going to ask you to... Let me get back on here. It's going to ask you to put in your email address. 
The first screen is going to have your passport card number. Now, when you think card, you think the little card that you get in the mail, like a credit card. You're not going to get a card in the mail. However, I'm going to show you what your card looks like if you want to show it at a vendor to get your discount. So you put in your email and then you hit other sign in options. And again, I'm going to send you this tutorial. Don't follow along on your phone because I don't want you to get ahead of yourself. If you don't click other sign in options, it can throw you down a pay path. We don't want you to pay for this. It's free as part of your FREA membership. Then it's going to ask you to sign in with an activation code. You'll hit sign in with an activation code. It takes you there. You're going to put in AMBA savers. It's not case sensitive, but I think it puts it in in all caps. And once you put in AMBA savers, you're going to hit sign in. Hit sign in. Then your profile comes up. Again, I'm going to send you this exact slide tutorial to do this. We've had some folks that, have, like I said, gotten ahead of themselves, gotten down a pay path. We don't want you to pay. It's free. I'll show you this tutorial. Then you're all set up. It's on your phone. You can use it whenever you want to. And here's how you, you may want to use your mobile application. Most of the places that I see that you'd want to use this, you're looking for a restaurant in your area. Say you've come to Dallas and you're going to watch the Miami Dolphins play the Cowboys for whatever reason you're coming up to, to Dallas to see that. And you're hungry, say, I want to go to a restaurant. So you plug in Dallas. You can search within a mile radius. You can search the type of food that you want to have, whatever it is. And it will pop up and say, you want to go see the Magic Time Machine. It's kind of a high dollar restaurant, a little fun, uh, been around for a long time. So you hit Magic Time Machine on there and this pops up. And it shows you what locations are eligible for the discount. And it shows you what your discount is. In this case, the Magic Time Machine has 60% off of gift certificates. So you hit the website button, which will take you out to where you buy those gift certificates and save 60% or more. So in this case, you can get a $25 gift certificate for $6. It will tell you what the restaurant requirements or restrictions are before you make a purchase. I'm not recommending or advocating one way or the other, whether you do this or not. Just want to show you how it works. So you say, okay, I want to go there. I'm going to get a $25 gift certificate for $6. Save quite a bit of money. You find that they've got a minimum purchase of the restaurant to redeem your gift certificate. You purchase that gift certificate. It goes into your My Certificates there. All you have to do at the restaurant when you're ready to check out, press My Certificates, show it to the server. They handle the discount. Some restaurants will say, good off all meals, but excludes alcoholic beverages, something like that. So you'll have to look at that and pay attention to it that way. That's one way to use your mobile app. The other way, you will find some vendors will offer just flat discounts or BOGO offers off of their services. These are two restaurants in Austin that when you come on there and it says use card, you see that blue arrow, the use card there, you simply hit use card your card will pop up on the screen. Again, you don't get a card in the mail. It just shows you on the app. Your card pops up on the screen. And it'll tell you 20% off. You just show it to the barista. In this case, you show it to the server. They apply 20% off your discount. The yogurt, the TCB by yogurt there, it's a BOGO offer. You just show it to the front counter. Get buy one, get one free that way as well. So that's how you kind of ways you can use your mobile app. With the website, and I'll show you that, most of the time, all it does is it applies the code to your checkout and saves you your discount automatically that way. So mobile or on the desktop, you can use it both ways. All right, let's kind of jump in now and look at shopping because most of you said that you wanted to talk about how we can buy for family and friends for gift giving. It's a perfect time of year to save money. You make your pension stre checks stretch further. They don't, I don't think Ed Winter, they don't give you a 50% raise in December on your pension check, do they? just so that you can do some Christmas shopping? No, no, that's not available. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Well, we're, we're going to try to make that up and see if we can save a little cash here out there. So these are services that you can buy. I would say it's probably 95% online. There are some in-person services at certain uh, stores. I'll show you those as well. And we'll just walk through all the different shopping opportunities. And in Florida, there's a ton because you've got so many different uh, tourist attractions. You're going to find out on the website, and again, I'll show you a live tutorial here in a moment. They'll have special holiday sections where they've curated all the holiday gifts in one shop or one link. And these are things like 
home goods, candles, gifts, things like that. Two of my favorites out here are going to be the best choice products. And that is kind of a, a Macy's level quality of goods. So it's everything from linens, home goods, gifts, um, housewares, seasonal decorations, things like that. Usually they run just a discount across the board, but then after the season, they'll run a bigger discount on the seasonal items. You can go out there and you can find best choice products and save that way. H by Ferret is high-end linens, really nice uh, uh, bedding, things like that. Then you get your Coles and Skechers. Coles is an online only situation. You say 15% off of $100 or more. Skechers is a great online or in-person discount. You can go out there, you can print off the coupon, walk into a Skechers outlet store and save 30% right off the shoes and sales that they've got in the outlet store. Sometimes they run hot deals in their on the line where you can get even more discounts out there. If you've got fur babies, this time of year, there are vendors like crazy offering discounts on food, toys, vitamins, um, lodging. If you're having to travel and you have to the kennels and things like that, that somebody can come watch your dog or you can take your dog there, things like that. So there's lots of discounts out there. I'll kind of show you around as we go through the live tutorial when we walk through there. This time of year is also a time where we're shipping gifts off. We're sending gift baskets and fun stuff to family members and loved ones across the country. Knack is one of the coolest gift box services that I've seen out there. You know, if you go out to a um, a florist or a, some other type of place, it's like one size fits all. You get this basket, Harry and David, and it's got everything in it like that. No choices. Knack allows you to build a box however you want to. If you've got somebody special that's a sports fan, you can build a box. And it's not only edible goodies, but it's also blankets and cozy stuff or team sports, stuff like that. You can also customize it and put in personalized pictures or notes and stuff. So Knack is a really neat way to build some very unique gift boxes. If you've got grandkids or kids that are in college and they're studying for finals over the next couple of weeks, dropping them a dozen cookies, sending them something to nibble on. David's Cookies is a way that you can send a little bit of love that way, some great gifts that way. Or if you want to sign up for yourself or for a loved one, coffee subscriptions, wine subscriptions, steaks, meals in a box. There's all kinds of foodie gifts that are out there for yourself or for somebody else. So neat ways that you can get involved there. And then depending upon the city that you live in, there are some cities that have a lot of those meal prep kits where you can order meal prep to come certain days of the week, stuff like that, and save significant amount of money off that on top of what you'd be paying somewhere else. At Christmas time and the holidays, tech gifts, that wow gift for yourself. If you're looking to buy a new laptop or maybe a desktop computer, a printer, or you're looking for a new iPhone, a gift for the grandkids, something like that, all of the major vendors, Hewlett Packard, Lenovo, Samsung, Dell, all the computer providers have significant discounts on their products. I'm going to show you a couple of them in a moment. A uh, great way to save money out there if you're looking for yourself or to gift somebody. The Apple Store. Apple employee pricing applies to FREA members. That's what's cool. It hadn't always been that way, but they offer discounts for their employees that they're extending to FREA members. And that includes now this Christmas season, the latest iPhones, Older iPhones, older models, they're new phones, but they're just a little less expensive. The Apple Watches and the AirPods as well. So it's a great way to save money on some really cool Apple gifts. Totally up to you how you do that. I'll show you where you can find the tech gifts and to save a significant amount of money out there as well. This is probably the newest and has become quickly the most popular, or one of the top three most popular clicked on links and uses the Whirlpool Inside Pass. If you need appliances, if you want to gift a KitchenAid mixer to someone, Whirlpool is offering significant savings for FREA members through this program. Not only do they offer significant savings on all the appliances and stuff, certain times of the year, and I've seen this a couple of times over the last few months, they'll offer additional 11% off. I don't know why they got the number 11, 
but they offer an additional 11% off. All you have to do, and I'll show you where to find it, once you click on the inside pass is you can then go in and sign up for the pass. That's what gives you the internal discount to Whirlpool. They do price matching internally as well, which is kind of cool in that if you see it somewhere like at a Target or at a Best Buy or something like that, you can get it and they'll ship it for free to you through the inside pass. So it's a really cool, neat feature. That extra pass doesn't cost you anything. Again, it's free as part of your discount program. I want to remind you, though, these discounts change all the time. So just because we see the inside pass today, it may not be available in March of next year. These, pass, these discounts change all the time. I encourage you to play around on the website. When you see it, it changes, but you can't mess it up. Don't worry about that. But try inside pass out. We've already had some employees at Amber use this and save a significant amount of money on their refrigerator. So take advantage of that. One of the biggest discounts that uh, we see being used is the Sam's Club and Costco memberships. We gave one of these to my son when he and his, uh, my daughter-in-law got married a couple of years ago. And it's just a way for them to save money all year long on their Sam's Club for new memberships. And I mentioned to you just a few seconds ago that the offers change. Sam's and Costco, their offers change all the time. It'll be a discount on membership plus a gift card. Discount on new membership plus a basket full of food. It changes all the time. So check out there on the website. It's a nice way to gift. It's not for renewals on your own membership. It's for a new membership. So uh, that's probably the one of the most popular clicked on gifts that you can get out there for yourself or for someone else. All right, we've talked about shopping. I'll show you where to find a lot of those things on the online tutorial in a moment. We're going to talk about travel now. Everybody loves to come to Florida this time of year because of the weather and the attractions and all that. But Floridians like to hop on boats and head south, further south, like to go overseas. The travel savings that you can find is probably the biggest, in my opinion, through the passport site. Only because I like to travel, so I see it more. It's all across the state, the country, and the world. We're, because we're seeing more people travel and Europe open up more, we're seeing steeper discounts to try to attract people, to get people over to their, their, uh, their hotels, their attractions, and things like that. So I'm going to show you where you can find some of those things as we go through here. Some of the base level discounts that, uh, that I like that a lot of members click on is the whole Wyndham Hotel family. Everything from the high-end Wyndham resorts and the timeshare type resorts, all the way to your days in, your Super 8 motels, Howard Johnson's. You can save up to 20%. That's pretty much a given. It varies. I'll show you where you can find those. If you are an Airbnb type fan and you like to book a beach house for a time period, but you don't like the Airbnb fees that they always add on there for cleaning fees, just for breathing fees, whatever that kind of stuff is. Passport has a program called Haven, H-V-N. What I like about them is they will run not only discounts on the, the apartments or the villas and things like that, but sometimes they will waive cleaning fees or they'll waive certain registration fees. But they also have some very unique places to stay castles in Ireland, lighthouses, um, renovated old fire departments, firehouses, things like that. Just some really neat places to stay. Haven is really first class. So if you're an Airbnb user, want to go somewhere unique, I encourage you to go check out Haven. If you're thinking about going all the way all across the country to the other side of the world, uh, other side of the United States, to go to Hawaii, Hawaiian Airlines has discounts on airfare. Great way to save some money that way. If you are thinking about going to Europe or to major metropolitan areas like Chicago, New York, Las Vegas, even Orlando and Miami, and want to go to more cultural attractions like museums, zoos, gardens, things like that, tickets, T-I-Q-E-T-S is probably one place you want to start. Not only is it discounts on the admission to the attraction of the museum, they often have front of the line passes. We've had members that have gone over to Paris and gone to the Louvre or gone to the Eiffel Tower and they bought their tickets through tickets and it's got them ahead of the line. They didn't have to wait. And so kind of a neat way to do it that way. And cruises, 
I know everybody's familiar with cruises in Florida because we all go down there to take out of the ports you've got all across the state. I saw a stat, my, actually my wife saw it yesterday watching TV. There are 60 new cruise ships coming online next year. That's a lot of capacity that's out there. There are tremendous cruise opportunities through Passport. Not only are they discounted rates, but you'll find upgrades. You'll find uh, where they pay for the tips, the online gratuities. They'll, they'll give you onboard credit, stuff like that. So there's lots of places that you can save through passports. Let's dig down a little bit deeper and look at some specific ones. Great Wolf Lodge. If you've seen any TV, you've seen those Great Wolf Lodge commercials that are out there. They decorate for the Christmas like for Christmas like nobody else. Discounts all across the country. So if you're thinking about a Great Wolf Lodge opportunity, there's 30% discounts through the Passport program. If you're wanting to stay in Florida or if you're wanting to go to the cold weather climate, do a little skiing, something like that, my favorite place to look for hotels is on the Hotel Planner. And I'm going to show you the Passport Services, the Hotel Planner. They allow you to put in an address, put in a city, put in just a general area, and it will bubble up the best values. You can do it based on star rating. So if you really wanted just the top five star, top of the line resort, you can plug in just five stars and you can get those and find out what the best deals are. Or if you're traveling on the road and you just want a place to sleep for a few hours, you can plug in based on ratings, based on whether it's clean or not, that kind of thing, and find out what's good for you all across the country. I like to do what I call double checking here. I'm a big Marriott fan. And so I like to use the Marriott website to book my, my resorts or my hotels. Sometimes I'll go out here and you can just plug in Marriott and it will pull up all the Marriott chain in that area that you're looking. Sometimes I'll find cheaper prices out here. So I'd encourage you use this and I'll show you how to find it when we do the live tutorial. It's a great way. You can plug in the dates and sometimes it'll tell you, hey, there's an event going on in this city at this time, you may find better rates two days later. So it kind of gives you a little bit of uh, information as well when you're booking, if you're just saying, hey, I want to get away somewhere. So I encourage you to use that. It's one of my favorites. Holiday movies are coming back. There are about 30 to 40 different movie chains that you can buy tickets to. You buy online tickets, you're purchasing basically a midweek matinee price ticket that you can use anytime. There's no blackout dates, anything like that. You would buy the ticket and then reserve it on, online, just like you pick your seats now at some of these uh, really fancy movie theaters with the big seats and the food and all that kind of stuff. But it can save you taking a family of four to see a movie. You're going to save your FREA membership just like that in one fell swoop. So I encourage you to use that. That's a great way to stretch your money as well. Tickets at work is probably one of my favorite travel attraction websites. When I come down to Florida to go to the theme parks, I check out tickets at work first, depending upon what kind of specials they have. Sometimes there's BOGOs for Universal. Sometimes if you buy multi-day passes at Disney World, there's more money off like that. You know, you're probably not going to save more money than if you've got your season pass for Florida residents, but it may allow you to get beyond some of the blackout date stuff like that any of the Six Flags parks. If you're going to New York, going to Las Vegas, all of the Broadway shows, you can get them through tickets at work and save money. All the shows out in Vegas the same way. If you're wanting to give some basketball tickets or hockey tickets or Tampa Bay or Miami or Jacksonville football tickets, tickets at work has the best place to go get those tickets. Mostly because not only have slightly discounted rates, but they have... Uh, they waive fees, things like that. So, all right, Sandy, you asked about the hotel prompt. I'm going to show you the hotel prompt in a moment and remind you again when we do the live tutorial. Keep those questions coming in. I appreciate those. It'll help me when we go through the live tutorial. Now, I've shown you just some static images. I've shown you some places to go. We're going to walk you through how to do this. Edwina and I, because we live in I don't say more rural parts of the state, but not as populated major metropolitan areas. Sometimes it's hard to find that local restaurant where I can save a little money or maybe a shop that I like to go to. There is a place, and I'll show you again when we do the live tutorial, that allows you to suggest 
a vendor, to suggest a business out there. You go out to the your account, hit the suggest button. It's going to pop up and it's going to give you some coaching to say, hey, if you've got a local vendor, business, doesn't matter what type of business it is, it can be a service. We see oftentimes handyman services, things like that. If you've got a service that you want to recommend, contact that person first and tell them you're going to recommend them to see if there's any interest even in offering a discount. Then you'll fill out this form. Passport will contact this vendor and say, hey, you've been recommended to uh, offer a discount. And anybody who's a member of Passport program or has this program, so the 10,000 plus FREA members, maybe members of other businesses that are part participate in the Passport program, anybody who visits Florida can participate. And you can support local businesses and you can save money on top of that. So I'll show you this. This is a great way, especially if you live in the non-touristy areas to get more information about this, okay? All right, let's go ahead and stop sharing right now. I'm going to move one slide forward and then we'll stop sharing because just through November, people who have used the Miami Discounts program, the Passport program, have saved over $111,000. I want to show you how you can add to that total of what you're saving, but also suggest um, some more. Let me share the screen here of the website. All right. And give me a thumbs up when you see the website come up on your page here. Okay. All right. So this is what your website's going to look like. Once you've registered through the link that I send you, once you, or if you're already out there, when you sign on, it's going to already show your location. So it takes your home as your home location. This is what it looks like if you sign on the website through your laptop, desktop out there. If you want to change where you're shopping, so to speak, where you're traveling to, you can put in the city. And in this case, I just put Miami, Florida. So you can hover over this, type in the city, hit update, and it will pull all of the discounts in that area. Now, most of your discounts are going to be online discounts, but it's going to put the ones that are in-person or, or local discounts up top. So I'm going to help you navigate this main page, and then I'm going to take you out and show you a couple of what I think are some cool features and places that are out there. So in your home page, you've got across the top your drop down menus where you can select dining. And you can go down and look at all restaurants in your area. You can look at just coffee restaurants. You can look at certain specialty restaurants. Again, the more refined you get, the smaller your selection may be out there. But you can look at it that way. And I'll show you a few things in a moment there from shopping. You can do your shopping drop down and you can look at clothes or you can look at home and garden. You can go over and look at sports and entertainment. This is where you're going to find tickets and things like that. You can look at tickets and attraction for your theme park stuff. Tech and electronics. I'm going to come back to this page and show you some specifics in a moment as we walk through here. So that's where you can find that. Go under travel. Same thing. If you're looking for rent cars, you're looking for vacation packages, looking for air travel cruises, all that kind of stuff, that just kind of narrows it down for you that way, okay? So when you go under more, kind of refined a little more, you're looking at tickets, that's where I'd probably go to the sole place for your movie tickets, things like that, because it really squares it away quickly for you. So you see it's got a scroll across the top of discounts. As you roll down the website, you'll see these tiles here. All of these tiles are very similar to your drop-down menus up top. It's just different ways to get to places faster for you. Then it'll have your seasonal savings across here. If you want to go holiday gift guide, you're looking for ideas, click there. It's going to curate just a bunch of different places to shop. If you've got fur babies you're looking out for, click on holiday pet care. It'll give you all the different pet care options. For those of you who want to go see some snow and you want to do something, click on here. If you've got family members that are big skiers, there's some significant discounts on lift tickets and I, the Icon Pass that gets you discounts at a bunch of different lifts and resorts. So use it that way. Warm weather getaways. You're talking California, Florida, Texas, Caribbean, um, you know, South Asia, that type of stuff. That's where you can start there. Then it'll show you some of the newest offers across here that you've got available to you. All different types of offers. These change hourly. So you can check it that way. Then I mentioned, remember these hot deals. 
The hot deals are out there just for a limited period of time. And they'll show you we've got you know 25 days left or some of them will be, you've got six hours left, that type of thing. So I encourage you to keep coming back. There are extra bonuses and you can click on see all hot deals and it'll give you every hot deal at the moment out there. The other thing that I like that's pretty cool, based on what you put in, it's gonna show you a map in your area of all of the discounts in person that you have available to you. Now, these are discounts that the actual vendor themselves has on Passport. So you see all the airplanes there. Those are usually hotels, but I can tell you there are many more hotels that offer discounts. You just find them through the hotel planner. The knife and fork, of course, are meals. The little handbag, that would be your shopping destinations. And so like you hover over a shopping destination, there's Skechers Direct. So there's a, a, an in-person Skechers store that you can go to and save 30% at that point. And then some of the things at the bottom are your um, featured offers, the top offers, meaning these are offers that they think are most used, most clicked on, things like that. And you'll see a lot of the Las Vegas hotels out here, some of the resorts, things like that. So that's what your overall homepage looks like for your Passport website. Let's go in and dig in and look a little bit deeper into tickets. Okay, so we're, we've had a lot of folks that ask us, what about tickets for attractions, things like that? So let's go to more and look at tickets. You can also find it in different places. Um, but when you click on tickets, and I apologize for my slow internet, but it will pop up here. This will show you and this is pretty much standard for everything. It's going to show you a range filter out here where you can search for a radius. And so we found 51 ticket opportunities within 25 miles of Miami. Now, some of these are, will be for places that are further away, but you can buy online tickets. I can narrow it down to five miles, 300 miles, whatever. So we've got South Florida attractions. There's movie theaters. There's museums out here. Um, there's, as I mentioned, the tickets. Like I've talked about T-I-Q-E-T-S, where you can do that. Again, you've got your Orlando stuff up here. Um, there's lots of things. So there's your, your Disney World tickets that you can get directly that way. So the zoos, that's where you can find your tickets out there. All across the board, different types of tickets. And if I can scroll down a little more, it's going to load some more for me. There's tickets at work. So say you're in Miami, but you're saying, I'm going to go to New York. You don't have to put New York in there. You can just put tickets, hit tickets at work and then put in New York, and it's going to bring up all the Broadway shows, that kind of stuff. So that's where you can find your tickets that way. Uh, another one that I like, and I'm going to go over there now, is magazines. You know, if you like reading, if you like having mail come to you, if you want to gift somebody an inexpensive subscription, you can go out to the magazines, and you can find it just by typing in magazines on the, the main toolbar. This magazine program gives you a year's worth of magazines for two to five dollars. Sometimes it'll say, like in, in the case of Southern Living, 13 issues for two dollars. Sometimes that's digital issues, meaning they come to your um, your iPad, or it could be it'll say for five dollars you'll get 13 in the mail magazines. So there's a lot of different subscriptions that you can get out there. It's just a cool way to uh, gift yourself or gift someone else if you like reading and uh, all different types of magazines. So that's another way that you can save money as well. All right, let's go. Sandy, you ask about hotels. Let's look at travel for next, okay? You wanna go out to hotels and resorts under the travel link here. So I'm gonna click hotels and resorts. I still have my Miami filter up there, but don't worry about that, okay? Because it's gonna pull up those things that are closest to Miami first, but you can find it all these hotels anywhere. So. Because I have my Miami filter in there, I've got 300 miles on my travel filter. It's going to basically give me all of Florida. You've got your, your Holiday Inn Express, your, your vacation club, kind of your timeshare things, your extended stay resorts. Then you come down, you've got some of your higher end resorts that are out here as well. Tickets at work travel. You got your Hawaiian resorts, your Great Wolf Lodge. This is the hotel place that I recommend. It's the Passport Travel Services powered by Hotel Planner. And Sandy, since you asked specifically, I'm going to show you what this looks like. So I'm going to open up the website. 
And Anne, you give me a thumbs up when you see the Passport website. Can you see the Passport uh, Hotel website yet? Okay, so it, I type in here, and Sandy, you say, so say I'm coming to Orlando, okay, because I'm going to fly down to see my nephew. His wife is going to have a baby tomorrow, I think, and I'm going to come down to see him next week. So I'm going to come down on the 14th. I'm going to stay for three days. I just need one room. Okay, so it's going to do its thinking here. And while it's doing its thinking, it's going to show you, I've got it sorted by best savings. All right, so it's thinking, all it's doing, all it's thinking out here, and it's going to go through here. And I can sort it by landmarks if I want to get close to a theme park, if I want to get close to my nephew and show um, um, zip by zip code where he is. If I want to say I only have $100 or stars or whatever. Or if I want to plug in just Marriott, I can put in Marriott's over here. So it's doing its thinking. It's moving a little slow, and I apologize for that, but uh, it's, it's going to show us this in a moment. But it shows me, okay, here's starting to pull up this stuff. Now, the one thing I like about this website, it shows me what people think about the hotels too. Okay, so it may be a great deal. I may be saving 40, 50 bucks, but it shows me that it's got a pretty poor rating down here, that type of thing. So here's, um, if I'm looking for a two-bedroom condo, I can get it at the Westgate for $158 as opposed to $263, you know, and then I click through and it will show me what my dollar amounts are. So, I mean, again, it, it can show me lots and lots of savings that are out there and it shows me what the reviews are. I can scroll down and look for, you know, resorts I'm familiar with, brand names I'm familiar with and shows me my money out there. So Sandy, that's the best place that I found for if I'm generally looking for just hotels in an area. If I'm looking for a specific resort area, sometimes I'll come back to this travel section, like there's Atlantis in the Bahamas. We all know what a nice resort that is. All of the MGM resorts in Las Vegas are out there as well. One of the coolest things, and I'm going to Yellowstone with my wife this year, this summer, there is out west with a lot of the national parks, there is a company called Auto Camp. And Auto Camp, what they have done is they have taken old Airstream trailers, renovated them, and created kind of this 50s and 60s vibe campground. They're luxury inside, but it kind of has this really cool feel. And they're placed right outside of these major national parks. So you can get discounts off of that as well. And like I mentioned, all of the MGM resorts and their family out in Vegas, certain locations out there. So that's probably the best route to go um, for looking for your travel locations out there. Let's go back and look at shopping here. Let's go look at shopping. Let's go to home and garden, okay? Because this is where you're going to find in the home and garden section, you're going to find all of your housewares, you're going to find that Whirlpool Pass out there. You're going to find your home services as well. So if you know, you're know you doing some bathroom renovations and putting in new fixtures and things like that, Kohler is where you're going to find that. Here's your Whirlpool Pass. And you just simply click the link. It takes you through and starts the process that way. And then you've got vitamins and mattresses and candles. I mean, it's all kinds of stuff out here. Just cool things that you can try out. Um, just different ways that you can uh, check out what's going on out there. So again, that's one of the ways that you can shop that way. Let's go back and look at tech and electronics, and I'll wrap it up here uh, and show you a couple of other things after that. So go under tech and electronics. This is where you're going to find the Apple employee pricing out here. You're going to find the uh, Samsung, Lenovo. Here's that hot deal, like I told you, five days left for PCs under $300. And so you'll want to hit click hot deal and it'll take you out there and show you what PCs are available. So if you've got tech gifts you're looking for, that's the route to go. Back on dining, say you want to send some edible gifts somewhere, like we talked about sending to a grandson or granddaughter to uh, wish them well during finals, or if you're not going to be with a family member, you can go out there. Again, there's where you've got chocolates, you've got cookies, you've got coffee out there. You got sausage, you can send meats across the country, that kind of thing. That's where you'll find that. And you can build that gift box out there. So some neat things that way. 
I want to wrap up showing you out here the other way. Say if you just don't know what you're looking for, say I want to look at flowers. So you type in flowers and flowers are going to pop up. So I'm going to look at flowers in categories. And when you do that, it's going to pop up for you eventually. We'll show you what the flower offering is out there. And there's 1-800 flowers, very well-known vendor. For the next rest of the month, you get 20% off all purchases. Usually it's about a 15% discount. They've bumped it up. You can buy gifts through there as well. Then there's some other offerings. In some cities, I don't see it in Miami, in some cities there are florists that are part of this program and they will bubble up on the top as well. Now, Edwina, this is where I want to show you. And for those of you who want to suggest some vendors, okay, this is if you live in an area and you've got a favorite restaurant that you go to. And I'm not talking about the national chains like Outback or, you know, um, or, or some type of uh, Red Lobster, you know, national chains of that sort of Landry's, anything like that. But if it's a, it's a, a restaurant that you like, if it's a store that you like, you go to your account up here and you go to suggest. Suggest would pop up and it's going to give you a little bit of coaching tips. And then you would go and you would fill that information out and say, hey, put as much information. I talked to Eddie at Eddie's Pizzeria. He's willing to offer 15% off for FREA members, you know, that type of thing. Include all of Eddie's contact information, maybe a link to their website, all that kind of stuff. Put it in there. Passport contacts your suggestion. They take care of all this. There's no cost to your vendor. That's the cool thing about this. It doesn't cost them anything. It doesn't cost you anything as an FREA member. Maybe you can drive business that way, keep it local. You can also save money as well that way. So again, get in here, play with this website. I'm going to send you that link. I'm going to send you um, how to sign in, how to take advantage of all this, whether on the phone, whether it's on your laptop. Play around with it. You can't break it. You're not going to make a purchase without two or three fail safes in there. So click around, learn it, find out what's good for you, find out what's best for, you know, what you're looking for. May find some stuff you never even knew existed was out there for you. I encourage you to use this, save some money, have fun with it. Use this as an opportunity. And I'm going to stop sharing the website and go back to our, our conversation here. Use this as an opportunity to drive some friends to FREA, okay? I guarantee you, everybody on this call today knows somebody that they worked with in the past that's not an FREA member. Tell them about this program. If they're not willing to invest a small amount for a FREA membership to protect their pension, which is their largest asset, tell them you can save a lot of money if you're an FREA member with the Passport program. Tell them about these webinars. We're recording this webinar. It'll go out on the FREA website before the end of the year. It's a great way to introduce FREA to some of your retired friends. If you've got family members that say, what does FREA do for you? Hey, help them become an FREA member and let them take advantage of the Passport program as well. So I'm going to leave it open for any questions. If you've got questions, drop it into Q&A. I'd be glad to answer those questions for you. If you have questions just in general, so many things have changed with Medicare and with Social Security going into the new year. If you want to kind of find out how all that works, how it coincides with your FREA eligible benefits, you can use that QR code with your smartphone, hover over it, fill out the form to say, I want a benefit review. Or if you don't have access to your phone or you're on an iPad, you can just simply email me at john.green at amba.info. So Thank you for joining us today, where I know we're back near the top of the hour again. We won't with you an hour. I appreciate the questions that have come through. Edwina and Ann, thank you so much. I understand that uh, you got family coming to you, Edwina, and you're going up north, getting out of the warm weather to go see your mom and your family. So uh, have a tremendous holiday. Anything you want to share with the group before we leave today? I just want to wish everybody a very happy holidays and Merry Christmas to you all. The office is here for you if you need us, but we will be closing the end of the month starting on the uh, 17th. So we will be back on January 2nd. And thank you so much, all of you. Thank you, Ann. Edwina? 
Um, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and thank you for um, joining us today, and I know that if you use this program, you will be able to save money, and John, we're going to Yellowstone in September, so I'm going to be looking at Passport to see what kind of savings I can have. There you go. I haven't seen anything in the park, but around the park and in Jackson Hole, there's hotels and stuff like that. So we were able to, to book a room. I want to say it's in Idaho, whatever's right across the, the western border in Idaho. So uh, looking forward to that, but uh, highly encourage it, especially as, as I talk to so many of you, you're getting out there again, you're traveling. Shop here first, save some money and uh, enjoy that travel. So everyone have a tremendous holiday Edwina and Ann, thank you so much for your partnership. We look forward to seeing you again in the new year. And if you've got any questions, I said I'll hang on a few more minutes and uh, answer those offline. So everyone take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. John.